A man, after losing his wife, won the lottery and dedicated his entire winnings to fulfilling her last wish in a very special way. Join us as we explore stories of lottery winners who used their winnings in the most beautiful of ways. Number 15. Brian Hoover Uses Lottery Winnings to Fulfill Dead Wife's Wish Brian Hoover, from Beaver Lodge, Alberta, turned his $70 million Lotto Max win into a tribute to his late wife. The couple had dreamed together of doing good if they ever won the lottery. Sadly, she passed away before they could realize those dreams. With his win, Brian set out to make those dreams come true in her honor. He decided to start by creating a park named after his wife, a place where she had loved taking their children. This gesture was about remembering her and giving back to the community they both cherished. Brian didn't stop there. He planned to support local schools by funding various educational programs. These efforts were aimed at nurturing the community's children, reflecting his wife's passion for their growth and well-being. Family was another priority for Brian. He wanted to use part of his winnings to help his family by paying off mortgages and providing financial support, ensuring they were taken care of. Despite these grand plans, Brian also looked forward to some personal enjoyment, like traveling to visit friends across the country, possibly in a new motorhome. However, this next entry chose to use his winnings for the greater good. Number 14. Man Uses $217 Million Lottery Fortune to Combat Climate Change in a striking example of using fortune for global benefit, a French man who won the Euro Millions Lottery in 2020 invested nearly all of his $217 million prize into fighting climate change. After winning the largest jackpot in Euro Millions history at the time, he immediately decided to channel his newfound wealth into environmental conservation. Understanding the urgency of the climate crisis, he established a nature foundation aimed at safeguarding the planet. He named this foundation Andyama, after a town in Côte d'Ivoire, where he spent part of his childhood and witnessed the environmental impacts of deforestation firsthand. This experience left a lasting impression on him, fueling his passion for environmental protection. The foundation focuses on a variety of initiatives aimed at replacing fossil fuels with renewable energy sources, recognizing the critical need for a transition to cleaner energy to combat the escalating threats of climate change. This next person had an equally heartwarming use for her winnings. Number 13. Frances Connolly Shares 145 Mill with Those in Need Frances Connolly, a lottery winner from Harleypool, turned her astonishing $145 million Euro Millions fortune into a beacon of generosity. Instead of splurging on lavish luxuries, she found joy and purpose in sharing her windfall, giving away more than half to those in need. Frances and her husband Patrick initially earmarked a charity budget for each year. Yet Frances's enthusiasm for helping others led her to expend their planned donations up to the year 2032. Her giving spree was fueled by a genuine passion for making a difference. Frances described the act of helping others as giving her a buzz and admitted she's now addicted to it. This drive to assist has been a lifelong commitment. With her lottery winnings, Frances established two charitable foundations. One is named after her late mother, Kathleen Graham, aimed at supporting various causes in Northern Ireland. The other, the PFC Trust, focuses on aiding young carers, the elderly and refugees in her hometown. Frances's contributions support community groups that help people find jobs, assist refugees, care for young carers, and connect the elderly with their families through technology. This next winner won her winnings in a hilarious yet unique way. Number 12. From Gift to Fortune – Kiwi Mom's Mother's Day Lotto Win In a turn of events that sounds straight out of a feel-good movie, a New Zealand mom from New Plymouth received the ultimate Mother's Day gift, a lottery ticket that turned out to be worth a staggering $5.3 million. This life-changing surprise came courtesy of her thoughtful daughter, who decided to include the Powerball First Division winning ticket inside her Mother's Day card. The win was discovered in a unique and heartwarming way. 
On Mother's Day morning, after hearing news of a local win, the daughter decided to check the ticket numbers online before placing it in her mom's card. To her astonishment, the ticket matched all the winning numbers. Wanting to share the joy in person, she included the ticket in the card with a note urging her mom to open it first. The moment the mom circled the last winning number on the ticket, disbelief turned to joy, making for an unforgettable celebration. Instead of immediately running off to claim the prize, the family proceeded with their Mother's Day plans, adding only a bottle of champagne and fish and chips to mark the occasion, turning it into a Mother's Day unlike any other. This next winner's lottery win could not have come at a more opportune time. Number 11. Gloucester Man Wins $1 Million Amid Brain Cancer Battle Brian Parisi from Gloucester experienced a twist of fate that reads like a screenplay. Amidst a challenging battle with brain cancer, he won $1 million in the Double Your Money Instant Lottery game. This remarkable win came after a series of hardships, including a serious car accident and a subsequent diagnosis of brain cancer two years ago. But Parisi saw this as an opportunity to give back to those who supported him through his toughest times. One of his first thoughts upon winning was to show gratitude to his brother-in-law, who had been a pillar of support during Parisi's health struggles. Planning to use a part of his winnings, Parisi intends to replace the roof on his brother-in-law's house, a gesture to thank him for his unwavering assistance. The rest of the prize money is earmarked for investment, aimed at securing the financial future for himself and his two sons. If you thought this was heartwarming, this next entry will leave you in a great mood. Number 10. Methuen Friends Lotto Pact Fulfilled In Methuen, a heartwarming tale unfolded when Eric Cochran, a local lottery participant, turned a gesture of goodwill into an extraordinary act of friendship. Winning a $1 million prize from a $10 million Winter Riches scratch ticket, Cochran remembered a promise made to his friend, John Galvin, and decided to share his fortune. This story of generosity began with a simple act of kindness at Galvin's guitar repair shop. Cochran had brought in his son's guitar for repairs shortly after his son faced a health scare. Recognizing the family's situation, Galvin refused to charge for the service, insisting on providing his help free of charge. Despite Cochran's attempts to offer at least $40 for the work, Galvin stood firm in his decision not to accept any payment. Moved by Galvin's kindness, Cochran made a spontaneous pledge if he ever won $1 million, he would split the winnings with Galvin. Little did either friend know that this promise would soon become a reality. Cochran purchased two $20 instant tickets, and one of them turned out to be a winner. True to his word, Cochran chose to honor the pact he made with Galvin. They claimed their prize together at the lottery headquarters in Dorchester, each receiving a share of the one-time payment amounting to six hundred fifty dollars before taxes. Thought that was inspiring? The following tale will leave you feeling even more joyous. Number 9. Lottery Winnings Fund Grandkids Schooling David Hill from Thorold, Ontario became a shining example of generosity and family devotion when he won 100 grand in the Ontario 49 draw on February 10, 2024. This win was the result of over 40 years of persistence in playing the lottery, with this being his first significant victory. Always adding the encore feature to his tickets, a habit that eventually paid off, Hill experienced disbelief upon discovering his win on a serene Sunday morning. The discovery was so unexpected that it left him and his wife in shock, leading to a sleepless night filled with excitement and gratitude. Without hesitation, Hill knew exactly how he wanted to use his windfall. Choosing to prioritize the future and education of his four grandchildren, he dedicated the entire prize to ensuring that they would have the financial support needed for their schooling. This decision shows the deep love he has for his family and also his belief in the importance of education as a foundation for future success. Hill's generous act of funding his grandchildren's education with his lottery winnings highlights the impactful role grandparents can have in their grandchildren's lives. If you found that story touching, wait until you hear what's coming next. It's sure to lift your spirits. Number 8. Grandmother Divides Lottery Win With Kind Store Clerk 
in a story that warms the heart and restores faith in promises kept, 86-year-old Marion Forrest became a beacon of kindness and integrity. After a simple yet significant interaction with Walter, a convenience store clerk, Marion's life took an unexpectedly joyful turn. Walter, aware of the $500,000 lottery jackpot, encouraged Marion to try her luck, a gesture that led to an unlikely but heartwarming agreement. Marion, moved by Walter's encouragement, made a sincere promise to share her potential winnings with him, a promise many might forget in the whirlwind of a lottery win. Marion's luck shone through when she won $300 from the lottery ticket she bought, influenced by Walter's suggestion. True to her word, she returned to the store not just to share the news, but to share her winnings with Walter, offering him half of her prize. In a world where actions often fall short of words, Marion's gesture of giving Walter $150, accompanied by celebratory balloons declaring Walter won, was a powerful act of gratitude and honor. Marion's story, celebrated by onlookers in the convenience store and by thousands online, proves that integrity and generosity are alive and well. This next person dedicated her entire life to philanthropy, as well as her massive lottery win. Number 7. Turning Fortune into Philanthropy – Sheila Ryan's Lottery Legacy At the age of 69, Sheila Ryan did something remarkable with her lottery winnings that changed her life as well as the lives of countless others. In 1988, Ryan won a staggering 55.2 mil in the Florida Lottery, making her the largest individual lottery winner in American history at that time. But instead of indulging in luxury and comfort, Ryan chose a path of generosity and compassion. Shortly after her win, in December 1988, she established a charitable foundation. This foundation was a robust initiative that touched the lives of many. From providing for stray cats to helping poor children in need of medical operations, Ryan's foundation cast a wide net of benevolence. It went further to build low-cost housing and even paid overdue rent to prevent single mothers and their children from facing eviction. Ryan's philanthropy was driven by a sense of purpose. She believed her windfall was a divine blessing that came with a responsibility to help those in need. I think it was by the grace of God I won, she said, reflecting on her fortune. Her decision to give back was rooted in a desire to support senior citizens and the homeless, among others. Sadly, Ryan's life came to an end in 1994 due to cancer, but her legacy of giving and kindness lives on through her foundation. Found that uplifting? The next story we have in store will surely make your day. Number 6. Lotto Win Lifts Financial Burden – Mother Clears Kids Student Loans Desiree Fortini Kraft from Boston, Massachusetts, experienced a life-changing moment when she won a $25 million prize from the Massachusetts State Lottery's billion-dollar extravaganza. Instead of spending her windfall on extravagant luxuries alone, she decided to address a pressing issue faced by many American families – student loan debt. Fortini Kraft announced her plans to use a significant portion of her winnings to pay off her three daughters' student loans, opting for a one-time payment of $16,250,000 before taxes. Fortini Kraft's decision reflects a deep-seated desire to relieve her children of their financial burdens that often come with higher education. Purchasing her winning ticket a few weeks prior from Baker Street Market in West Roxbury, a neighborhood in Boston, Fortini Kraft took a cautious approach by securing her ticket in a safe place during a trip to Aruba, only to claim her prize upon return. The store that sold the winning ticket was also rewarded, receiving a $50,000 bonus. Interestingly, this isn't Fortini Kraft's first brush with lottery luck. She previously won a $1 million prize in 2006, but the next winner turned their jackpot into a force for good. Number 5. From Powerball to Playground – Teacher's Camp Dream Realized Les Robbins, a former junior high school teacher from Fond du Lac, transformed his life and the lives of many children when he won a $111 million Powerball jackpot in July 1993. 
Instead of indulging in personal luxuries, Robbins chose to invest in the future of children by creating Camp Winnegator on the shores of Lake Winnebago. This day camp, running for four or five weeks every summer, became a haven for kids to engage in outdoor activities away from the grip of technology, enjoying horseback riding, swimming, and various sports. Purchasing 226 acres with part of his lottery winnings, Robbins built a camp that includes riding stables, a gym, pool, miniature golf course, and water toys, ensuring that campers aged 6 to 16 have a memorable summer filled with adventure and fun. Robbins' dedication to giving back to the community and enriching children's lives demonstrates a huge commitment to his beliefs in education and the value of outdoor play. Despite the personal changes and challenges Robbins faced post-lottery win, including a divorce and a legal battle to divide his winnings, he remained focused on his mission to benefit children. But brace yourself for the next entry. It's bound to leave you feeling uplifted. Number 4. Lotto Winners Honor Parents with Community Water Park in 2011, John and Linda Cootie's lives were forever changed when they, alongside seven co-workers, won a staggering 319 mil in the Mega Millions jackpot. From their share, the Cooties took home about $19 million after taxes. Instead of spending their windfall solely on personal luxuries, the couple decided to invest in a project that would benefit their community in Green Island, New York, and serve as a lasting tribute to their parents. With a desire to give back, John and Linda approached the local mayor for suggestions on improving the town. The idea that resonated with them was the construction of a community water park. This project promised to provide a fun and refreshing retreat for families during the summer and also allowed the Cooties to honor their late parents in a unique and meaningful way. The Cooties generously contributed 200 grand towards the construction of the water park, named in memory of Edmund Ostrowski and his wife Gertrude, along with Joseph and Mercedes Cootie. Their donation helped transform an outdated wading pool into a modern spray park, equipped with various water features, ensuring a delightful escape for children and adults alike from the summer heat. Despite moving to Florida shortly after their lottery win, John and Linda returned to Green Island for the Spray Park's grand opening, reiterating their connection and commitment to their hometown. Much like this family, the next one used their winnings for a heartwarming reason. Number 3. Family Uses $429 Million for Community Good the Smith family from New Jersey turned their $429 million Powerball jackpot into a beacon of hope for their hometown of Trenton. Pearlie Mae Smith, along with her seven children, chose to prioritize community upliftment over personal luxury after securing the life-changing sum. With a strong belief in giving back, the family founded the Smith Family Foundation, focusing on eradicating systems of poverty and investing in the long-term prosperity of Trenton's residents. Valerie Arthur, one of Smith's daughters, spoke of the win as affirmation from God, emphasizing the family's commitment to fulfilling their dreams of aiding their community and supporting each other. Arthur credited their mother with instilling the values of service and generosity from a young age, recalling time spent volunteering at the community soup kitchen. The family's aspiration is to assist those in immediate need and to transform Trenton into a vibrant, thriving city, reversing its reputation for crime and gang violence. If you thought this was a good use of lottery winnings, wait till you hear the next one. Number 2. Calgary's Tom Christ Donates $40 Million Prize Calgary's Tom Chris chose to donate his entire $40 million lottery prize to charity, a decision inspired by the loss of his wife to cancer. Chris, a retiree who had enjoyed a successful 44-year career with Ecol Electric, found himself the winner of the largest prize ever awarded to a Calgarian. However, instead of using the winnings for personal gain, he saw it as an opportunity to support cancer research and other charitable causes close to his heart. Chris' wife, Jan, battled cancer for six years before succumbing to the disease in 2012 at the age of 57. Her fight against cancer left a lasting impact on Chris, who decided to use the lottery windfall to contribute to the fight against the disease that took his wife. 
He planned to place the money into a family trust fund, from which donations would be made to various charities selected by himself and his children over the years. Despite the monumental win, Christ maintained a desire for privacy and normalcy, revealing the win to his children only much later, and attempting to keep the donation process discreet. But this move is not nearly as touching as this next one. Number 1. $180 million lottery win fuels search for cure. On a day filled with reflection, Paul and Sue Rosano's life took an unexpected turn. May 4, 2008 marked the fifth anniversary of the loss of their granddaughter Michaela to Crabbe disease, a rare and incurable disorder. That same night, their fortunes changed dramatically when they discovered they'd won a $180 million Powerball jackpot. This windfall, however, presented an opportunity to honor Michaela's memory in a meaningful way. With their winnings, they established the Legacy of Angels Foundation, dedicating 26.4 mil to fund research and support families grappling with medical costs associated with Crabbe and other rare diseases. The Foundation's efforts have advanced the search for a cure and have also provided tangible hope to families affected by Crabbe disease. Even as Sue battles her own health challenges, their resolve to find a cure for Crabbe disease remains unshaken. It's truly heartwarming to see how these lottery winners used their windfalls in such inspiring ways. But sometimes lottery winners don't use their wealth in the smartest ways and end up making dumb decisions. Want to find out more? Check out our next video about the most tragic lottery winner stories.